Hello, and welcome to A Thief's Training. A Thief Vanishing by Snake. This one does have a bridge beam, so... We're a thief, not a murderer, right? I mean, the usual thing is hard, I don't know what to expect, let's... Well, we'll, we'll see, see the objective screen and change our mind then. Let's watch the briefing. Pendulum in motion still passes the equilibrium, if only for a moment. Our most promising acolyte has many swings to travel before finding balance. But there can always be a passing of where the journey began. Cuddy must be feeling generous or guilty, as he threw me a bone in lieu of any actual work. It seems Sigurd and Radbod, two of the Downwinder's best, have recently gone rogue. Word on the street is they have a new employer. Unlikely a warden, but definitely someone with deep pockets. Cuddy tells me they were spotted last night checking into the Hooft Lyre, a dilapidated inn located in Chapel Shade. A half-abandoned hamlet on the outskirts of the city. Normally, I would look down on poaching work from others. But the rent is due, and Cuddy has nothing else coming my way. It's still daylight, but I'll have to leave now to have any chance of cutting Sigurd and Radbod off before they leave that inn. If I'm lucky, they might still be sleeping, which will give me a chance to figure out where they're headed. On the bright side, at least whatever I find is mine. That is, if there's anything to find, and if I can get away with it. Radbod, I was thinking Ratbod, but okay, apparently he's not that rat-like. Discover where Sigurd and Radbod are heading to. They stayed at the Hooford Lyre Inn last night, and should be leaving this morning if you've not already missed them. Chapel Shade is a half-abandoned district, but there is likely still a valuable two lying around, not to mention the Hammer Church still in operation there. Seal at least 1400 worth. It's a lot for a half-abandoned. Sigurd and Radbot are bloodthirsty amateurs. Don't put yourself in their category. Don't kill anyone. And leave the area when you're done. Okay. If we go back to hard, I'm still on don't kill anyone. And a thousand. Now I have no idea what the amount of loot goal is, how hard this loot goal is, I guess. If the loot goal becomes a sticking point, um, I can always look it up and drum it, look up, drum it, you know, open the mission up, see where the loot I missed is. And since, since hard and expert are both don't kill anyone, I think it doesn't really matter what you choose. So we'll go expert. Can we get a shop? Please a shop. Nope. And it's daylight, and I have no idea. I'm about to be spotted. If the guard's gonna be uh, nasty to me or not. Well, I guess he's coming this way, we're gonna find out. Hi, oh, man. How's it going? Nice fountain you got here. Um, da -da. Oops, they dropped some change in there. Da -da. Da -da. Just, just fish it out. You don't mind, do you? Oh, look at this, all the coins falling out of my wallet in here. It's just terrible, isn't it? Do you want to throw one in for luck? For my luck? It, it will bring me luck, I can tell you that. Alright, well. He was not too fast. That is not a door. Okay. Hello? Do I have rope? Oh, I don't want him to be... I don't want him to... No, I'm here. Now, the difficulty with... Friendly guards is if you did it... Depending on how you do it... He might still know I'm here and... Take offence to this. And I won't know for quite some time. <sighs> Hang on. Um, what am I stuck on? Out of here. I think pretty sure I saw something in there. 
Yeah, look, he saw that. He, can't, he thought that was a weapon use. Let's not. Let's do a quick save after. Oh, I did. Alright, so we might have to wait till he's out of sight before doing that. He goes out of sight. Okay. I think I saw something. Okay. I mean, he's probably going to get upset if we break into a place as well. Hello, looks like a roof there if you find one. Hmm. Well, that's a nice basement. More open windows as well. Again, if, if he's still got awareness of me, I can't use the arrow safely, yeah. This place has faces sticking out from under the wallpaper. Not creepy, no? Okay, door. Oh, the door seems stuck. Hello. Oh. The doors seem to react badly to my, uh... Alright, we should be out of sight of the guard for long enough to forget me. So we have a look at all these rafters. Hello? I was absolutely worth doing then. <laughs> nice little sitting room we got here. Some reading material. Midnight has come and the great hammer church bell and many a lesser bell sounds through the room. And it is all spirits night. And two long glasses brimmed with biddly bong bubble up on the table. A ghost may come, for it is a ghost's right. His element is so fine, being sharpened by his death, to drink from the wine breath, while our gross palates drink from the whole wine. Such thought, such thought have I that hold it tight, till meditation master all its parts. Nothing can stay my glance, until that glance run in the city's despite, to where the damned have howled away their hearts, and where the blessed dance. Such thought, that in it bound, I need no other thing, wound in minds wandering, as mummies in the mummy cloth. Wound. Some famous pagan, clearly, who probably also wrote about, you know, rough beasts and those things that pagans love to write about. <sighs> Mere anarchy and friends. Alright, I did not know, I had not known that term before, but, uh, he wrote so passionately about Biddly Wrong that I can't help but feel moved. I get away from the uh, never quiet door there. And it's a little weird to make the roof slippery when you're clearly meant to climb on it. Uh, it's a little weird. It's like it's a very shallow angle, it shouldn't be a slidey roof at a shallow angle when it's so easily in reach and climbable. You know what? Let's just get you out of the way here. I don't want to kill anyone, but... Ooh, do I... Give him a surprise. Give him a nice bed to sleep in, how about that? You'll be comfortable here, this... 
All this lock picking noise won't keep you awake, right? Right. I, think I should now be able to apply my trade with a little less hesitance. Testament to Bertilforth Chapelshade. In the name of the builder, I, Bertilforth, citizen and merchant of Chapelshade, being whole of mind and of body, the second day of Mirthide, the year of our builder 831, and the year of the reign of Baron Bristling, make and ordain this my present testament and last will as touching my tenements lying in the said ward of Chapelshade in this wise. First, I bequeath my soul to the Almighty Builder, my Creator, and my body to be buried in the chapel of St. Tetbert and St. Rainfroy in the ward of Chapelshade, directly afore the window of St. Tetbert in the sacristy. Second, I give and bequeath to the high altar in the same chapel for tithes forgotten in discharging of my conscience. Third, I bequeath to Plectrude all my lands and tenements lying in the ward of Chapelshade. Lastly, I request to be placed into the earth with my lucky dice, which served me well in life and may serve in my death. Praise be to the Builder and his works. Seems like they did not honour that request. Maybe we should find his grave and drop the lucky dice in, shall we? When we finally get to the Hammer Place. Speaking of finally getting to the Hammer Place... Wait, why does he have a very trickstery painting? For... I guess maybe someone else was in here. Do, do we have a map? We do not. That's a shame. It's odd to have a fully made briefing movie and not a map. But, uh... Now there's somebody in here. Huh? Mm -hmm. We can look in the door, right? Oh, well that'll be the hammer place. The Hoofed Liar. Today's menu is special. Salted Congo with free barrack breath ale. Deer leg stewed in ale. Bread stewed in ale. Cheese stewed in ale. Next week, traveling minstrels lost cabrones. Lost and bound. Lost. Ring. Last seen in vicinity of our house. Right, this is, this is the uh, place we're trying to get to, right? Find out where they're going and try to get to the score before them. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know what? I was going to go out and explore the little area there, but we're here in the inn. Hey man, do you know where How's they... Your day? Eh, you know. Mind if I read this? The City Chronicle. Six of Crimson Wayne, 831. Holy excrement! Latrine disaster sent Anvilites. A tragedy unfolded at St. Anvilites Seminary yesterday during the diet called by the Baron to mediate between Cardinal Erkenwald and Margrave Fomenga, who have been embroiled in a bitter dispute since the last recidivus. The Baron took the opportunity to call the Diet while mobilizing troops near the seminary before crossing to Blackbrook. The Margrave has used recent skirmishes on the land surrounding the seminary as grounds for erecting his newest fortified castle there, a move the Cardinal argues is in breach of the Baron's grant of lands towards the benefit of the Order of the Hammer. Those in attendance at the Diet included representatives of many of the great families of the city and all were gathered on the second floor of the main hall of the seminary to begin the mediations. In a tragic turn of events, the beams of the floor gave way, and the entire retinue plummeted to the latrines below, where as many as 50 people perished, most through drowning in excrement or suffocating from the fumes. Among the dead are Gerbold Bumbleson II, Count Rothioff, and Nardwin Grandmorden, nephew of Leobald. More on page 5. Death by beard in dark smoke. Last morn's day, fire broke out in dark smoke but was quickly extinguished thanks to the rapid action of the Baron's fire office. Only one fatality was recorded. In the initial panic at the outbreak of fire, Burgomaster Foucard tripped over his own beard trying to escape his store and fell down the stairs, breaking his neck. Foucard was famed for his prodigious facial hair, which is normally rolled up and kept in a pouch on his belt. When the fire broke out, he had not yet secured it, causing the hazard leading to his death. More on page 19. Rumble Ball is postponed as a mark of respect for the great men who perished in the St. Anvilita Latrine disaster. 
the, par the Baron has promised to reopen the bear pits instead with entry fees used to support supplies in the war. Oh, we have a... Hmm. It's dark here. You keep nothing in there, do you? Well, uh... Is there any wine in the wine cellar for me? Ah, oh, this is possible I could see in through the window. Strange noises and pagan imagery. It's clear that something else used to be down here. Seems like this half abandoned city was half built of old, more pagany city pieces. And current inhabitants boarded it all up. In, in completely successfully. All right, that just leads back out. Well, there seems to be nothing of value here, unless unless that opens openeth in some manner. Cannot as yet discern. I mean, it feels suspicious, but it might just be nothing. Oh, that's something. That's what I was looking for. Looking for the valuable ones and completely not seeing them. All right, well, we'll take it as. <gasps> At the moment, assume that's all there is down there. Now we'll step out of the darkness. Oh, that doesn't... That doesn't seem good. The ring lost here near the outhouse, so we're gonna have to brave it. Thief gold getting trapped behind the door. Oh, these are these are reciprocating doors. Okay, must have been my double click failed to let it reciprocate properly. You know, close again. Hello, what's going on here? Red body, you tougher. Open the door. I told you to take it easy last night, but as always, my advice has gone unheeded. If you don't get up in five minutes, I'm leaving myself. I've left a copy of the public works key with you. I keeps what I find, so couldn't care less whether you show up or not. You can explain it to the lady yourself. Oh, wow. Public works is where they're going, is it? Wow, he has been going at it. I will not disturb you further. <clears throat> Robo, that's I guess a previous document left it here or perhaps it's just standard equipment in all these uh, rooms in this end. Oh this is a beautiful common room up here. Very nice. Very cozy. Very statuesque. Right, 
I could see in here, there's no way I could get in that window. It looked a little small from outside, but I wasn't certain. Who are you? It doesn't feel like we're still in the inn. I guess I must be. Sixth day of Crimson Wayne. Wine. Gascon, eight barrels. Rhenish, four barrels. 820, 824 reserve, one barrel. Oh, I'll just again. Ale, Ferro Brew X, six barrels. Shellsgate Strong, Triple X, two barrels. Consider switching up. Suspect Old Bertil succumbed. Barrick Breath Brews, XX, 16 barrels. This stuff isn't selling for some reason. Look to offload with Webster. Well, perhaps change the name? Or the taste? <laughs> Food. Cheese, two crates of bread, three crates of deer, 23 legs. We'll need to find a new supplier of deer. Salted Conger, two barrels. Rooms. Keep rooms free for special guests. Ensure deposit is secure safely and tell Theophorid to keep his eyes and mouth shut. Trusting donation to Brother Grim Kettle might keep the hammer raids away for this month. Oh, the other thing I just realised is, uh, of course, the road power to in that room was, uh, bigger, right? No, the other guy. Radbod? Already forgotten which was which. What was that? Who knows what it was? This is locked. Of course it's locked. Oh, we'll wait till he wanders away again. Wow, that's a good lock. But whatever is in here is worth at least as much as this. Lock cost you. Maybe I should send some light to the stone. I think the taxes will get covered from the fund. Need what was that? Just your imagination. I wonder if there's anything by the bed. I should. I should check for completeness' sake. Just tapping in to broad daylight is not really my favourite of occupation. <laughs> Hello? Hello! Trusty and well-beloved Goslin, we greet you well. We understand by report made unto us at this time that ye have taken upon you now of late to make a misadventure within our forests, and put in contempt of us uncourteously to hunt and slay our deer for your wilting tavern. I think you will find yourself most accepting of our remedy for this misadventure. One moon hence you shall provide lodgings for two men, and inquire not. Payment will be provided in advance. Ignore this entreaty at your peril. To our trusty and well beloved Goslin. Well, that was certainly worth worthwhile. Should have known. Nothing could get in here. And out again. Hmm. Would have sworn I saw something. It's just a passing shadow. Thus it was, and nothing more. Alright, now these rafters... I mean, I could jump, I'm just gonna rope up anyway. To be quite... Oh, hello! Speaking of rafters, that looks like a valuable sword above the fireplace there. I suppose I could put a rope anywhere in the roof. Hmm, anything in here? Doesn't look like there's anything there. <laughs> Just a valuable gem. Yeah, I'm not, not missing anything. I don't think the hole in the roof will be worth uh, my attention. You should get that fixed though. Like, if it rains, I'm gonna have uh, this whole stairway rotting very rapidly. That's right, but right, so Sigurd was the one with the red arrow. And the tavern keeper was paid very well for their uh so they're gonna do the public works there. Which 
the next place I think on my list to check out. I'm going to look in that window, but that's irrelevant now. I've been in there. I've been up there. I've been in there. So... Damn door still doing its thing. It's, uh... I believe that's just a, the uh, standard lockpick script. Not... Well, the game not properly handling... Uh, the mouse clicking multiple times in a single frame because of my dodgy mouse buttons. Deliveries only. Right, yeah, because that's the basement door. Yeah, sound of metal working. Must be from the hammer -ups. There. Chapel Street Cemetery. May the builder's mercy pull upon the souls within. Well, hopefully that includes me now. Here lieth Bertil, faithful servant to the builder. 773 to 831. Just drop his dice in for him. It was Bertil, right? Yes. Clearly his his ghost <laughs> but perhaps his shade less visible in the brightness of the chapel shade day. His shade by the chapel was appreciative. I heard him say thank you. Not sure if I got anything beyond that for it. No bonus objective. No sudden appearance of loot. That's a doorway, there's a crypt down below, okay. Very compact stairway there. It's a noisy floor, I don't know. No, it's not. Well, hmm. There seems to be. Oh, he did. Bequeath the purse to me. Okay, I just didn't, didn't see it. All right. Crypt first, and then we'll come up to the upstairs. Because at least in the crypt we don't risk waking too many hammers, right? Just their shit. Oh, which obviously I mean sunglasses. Oh, there's quite a place here. I was not expecting anything nearly this extensive. Oh, I like that. That's very nicely done. Trivially done to, to put a statue model and a foot uh, model together, but it's very, very good. Hello. Very thin columns I've got holding this roof up. Stairs. I bet these stairs go up to the uh, main church? No. That's a noisy floor. Be careful. This is St. Rainbroy. May his hammer forever swing against the unrighteous. Perhaps this does go up to the church proper. No, what is. Feels like a blessed holy water pond here, but we have barracks have been tunneling here. This was bricked up and has been broken through, but it's all hammer it. Strange. It's very strange. I'm not sure I'm ready to go that way just yet. We should put a mark to remind me. Let's drop the cheese here. Where it'll be visible. Oh, well, I mean, as, if, as cheese indicates a direction, we should have it pointing in the direction that uh, 
we need to go, right? Here lies Brother Ursus, vigilant in his watch. May it be so in the hereafter. Things, brother Odric, sharp of tongue, blunt of wits. It's uh, not much. It comes awfully close to speaking ill of the dead there, which is, you know, I guess he's not going to do much about it now. So I came in. Oh, well, I didn't really need that cheese, did I? Let's see where this tunnel takes us. This is also Hammerite Chapel. Oh, is this public works? Looks like it might be. Oh. That looks recent. Hang on. Make sure we uh, kind of know where we are and where we're going. Yeah. Oh, this looks gloopy. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the squelch footstep sounds that. Uh... Is it Black Parade? And, I don't know, maybe a different mission. Something I played. A healing potion, alright. Can't use those controls. That does not seem to be a door that opens. Let's get the body shortly, but uh Well we can get up either side, so let's go across wash the uh whatever that flooring is off my boots. And uh also got the tunnel there to uh to explore as well. Yeah, 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 I've seen him already. Just a corpse. Exactly as I left him, not like he's turned around 180 degrees or anything. Hmm, actually I should check if there's anything in the water down here, right? You never believe what pulls into, uh, into sewers. Once Garrett found a whole bicycle there. <laughs> Not that he had any use for it, there aren't many cycle paths on the rooftops. Hello? Mines? This is looking suspicious. As in... Suspiciously like... Goes further than. Uh... Okay, well, let's come back there. I want to pull the other water tunnel. I've got too many too many loose ends to go through. I've got. Let's look at the whole Amorite place as well. well. Let's see where the sewer takes us before we go exploring mines. Ah, just to the street, perhaps. Basements. Oh. 
Okay, so this is the public works place at the courtyard we started at. It might be. It is indeed, okay. Alright, well, you know what? Seeing as we have a fairly clear uh, indication of where to go there. Oh, hello, there's a window I hadn't seen open. Oh no, that's the inn. That's, I've been there. that's where I came from. That's where uh, the, uh, the fellow was wandering around and muttering to himself. I haven't explored this street here at all. Probably nothing, right? Crates of hammers, of course. And the window. Ooh, what about up there? Is there a door up there from... <laughs> no, it's purely a decorative... Uh... Decorative architecture. I suppose a, uh, a nesting place for birds, if nothing else. Let's check this one. Why would you not build a door onto a little balcony like this? And why would you put uh, ventilations on the inside? These hammerites have very strange ideas of how to build places. Oops. I meant to land on the tree, but didn't. Alright, never mind. So there's the back door into the uh, church here, which I think feels like more the approach I would like to take than the front door. Ah, there's people here. Surely not be happy at my uh, presence. May our walls be cut from the thickest stones, our gates be wrought from full iron. Any who pits his strength against their strength shall smash himself with his own effort, even as the fruit falling from a tree dashes itself on the rock below. The builder's truth it is that men without belief do soften and fail as rotten wood. Tis true, and Till then, misfortunes are mirror for our blessings. Mm hmm You don't mind me being here, do you? At least you probably mind me stealing stuff. Nay, our walls be cut from the thickest stones, our gates be wrought from full iron. Any who pits his strength against their strength shall smash himself with his own effort, even as the fruit falling from a tree dashes itself on the rock below. The builder's truth it is that men without belief do soften and fail as rotten wood. You don't have a hammer on you. It is true. And till then, misfortunes are mirror for our blessings. It's the sermon today. Sermon for sixth day of Crimson Wayne. When we first took up the hammer for the builder's plan, who was then the nobleman? Do not measure the worth of thy life by the weight of gold in your pocket, but by the burden of works carried upon your back in building a good house for thy soul. Bricks and mortar, not silver and gold, will pave the path to the builder's house. Those who adorn themselves with gold and finery do mock the builder who maketh their forms, and wilt they regret their choice when the end comes. Blessed be these words in the name of the builder. Well, shout. Nay, our walls be cut from the thickest stones, our gates be wrought from full iron. Any who pits his strength against their strength shall smash himself with his own effort, even as the fruit falling from a tree. Shout you all forget that I was here. The builder's truth it is that men without belief do soften and fail as rotten wood. Tis true. And till then. 
Misfortunes are mirror for our blessings. Oops, Brother Morkant, greetings to thee. I would be most grateful if thou extendeth my greetings to all my brethren downtown. I write thee of news from Chapelshed. This hamlet of heathens doth continue to weigh on my ministry. These wretches are unmindful of their own salvation, and have abandoned themselves to the trickster. From my very office I doth hear all kinds of incantations and other accursed pagan abominations. At the instigation of the enemy of the builder, they do not hesitate to engage in the most foul and odious exuberance of sin to the pernicious peril of their own souls. These detestable atrocities remain unpunished, not without open danger to their wretched souls. I will continue to provide names of the worst offenders to Brother Inquisitor, and see to it that these unrighteous knaves are removed from here with expediency to face the builder's justice. Regarding the Jacobalade Goslin, he remains still useful for our purposes and should be exempted from justice for now. May the hammer fall upon the unrighteous. Brother Grimkettle. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 21. When the builder came to inspect the houses of his children, he came upon the first house with all the signs of vanity upon his front gable, whilst the second house was humble in aspect. The builder then asked his children on what they spent more time building, the internal structure or the external features. Then did his errant first son answer, I did allocate my time equally upon both aspects, while his second son answered, Verily I spent more time on ensuring the internal structure was sound. Then did the builder command his errant son to enter his own house, where it fell down upon him in a great tumult. For is it not known that outward appearances reveal naught of one's own righteousness? Build thou a fortress of thy heart first, for only the righteous soul can be a strong foundation. Yea, our safes be full of... Oh, Be locked with keys which do not yield to the common tapas lockpicks. Aha. Thought that would be safe. <laughs> You've great fool. Brother Grimkettle, I trust this month's tithe has been received with the builder's favour. Forever at your service, Goslin. I shall leave him to discover that his safe has been cracked, and he shall perhaps. Well, it's not Goslin you'll suspect, who will he suspect? You saw nothing, my fine gentleman. I'm very surprised they did not react to that. But it seems like they should have, <laughs> to be quite honest. Maybe they're feeling very generous to the poor and I look sufficiently poor. Alright, I think we can now progress. Find out where our fine battle friends. Discover what secrets this mine holds. Poor public works fellow talking to uh, get in the way of them. Hello, what do I see there? I can't make out. Is that bone? Scroll? It looks like it might be our friend. Sigurd. I wonder if the keepers have seen this. Here lies Sigurd. Very disfigured. 
Right trusty and right well beloved Sigurd from Radbard, we greet you well. We hereby give our directions and a map unto you for the preparing of this most important task at hand. With as much convenient speed as you make, acquire lodgings in the hoofed lyre of Chapelshade, and ask you there for Goslin, a most dutiful subject, with whom I have made it known on your behalf. Make entry through the public works. There be an opening in the southwest corner of the main reservoir which will provide passage to the compound. The key enclosed herein will provide entry. Your contract requires possession to be taken of two items of most import. One, a medallion with a keyhole contained in a crypt beneath the compound. And two, a golden tome likely contained within a secured library. Your contract provides allowance to withhold any trinkets you find. Be wary of the foreign forces within who will not hesitate to take your life by cunning and deception. They wield dark arts and sorcery. It would be wise to not stir their awakening. We expect to find our directions so well performed and look forward to receiving great contentment thereby. Given under our signet at our palace of de Tremolay, the 14th day of Endemia 831. Better check my map. New objectives. Looks like Sigurd and Radbold were sent here to steal from your old pals the Keepers. Try and find more information on how they learned of the Keeper compound. This could be useful for the future. Those amateurs were sent here to steal a golden book. Sounds valuable. Make it yours instead, and recover the Keeper medallion mentioned in the contract. It may be worth something to someone. Hmm. Also steal 1400 loot and don't kill anyone and leave the area when I'm done, but that's not new. Oh, we do have- wait, we do have a map. Wait, did we always have a map? No, okay, it's just the Keeper compound. Oh, well, there's a pretty large place here. You're not carrying anything else, so you are. Compound interest key. Alright, Sigurd, if that is your real name. Oh. Oh, I know this place exactly. This is not where I expected to be returning anytime soon. Not just any old keeper compound, this is the training yard. Where I did my training. I can't get in through there. Well, I guess I shall have to find out if I still know how to climb ropes and mantle and leap across gaps. Well, I do. Honestly, the most useful of all the teachings of keepers. I guess the hiding in the dark is useful too, but you know, baddies can still find you when you hide in the dark. Doesn't seem to be anybody there. They've replaced the bars. Oh, well, maybe they didn't let me. Uh, Take it away with me. Which does the map show? I don't know, where am I? That's the second floor, this is the first floor, right. Two obstacle course. Ah, we're up here, okay. So we begin at the agent sleeping quarters. Not welcome today, I expect. Young Garrett. The nightly noises, disturbances, and outright ruckus continue to emanate on the beta from Keeper Leodegar's chambers next door. Despite my repeated entreaties on the matter reported directly to him. When I raised this in the chapter house last week, I noted a distinctive expression of amusement from keepers Ramiro and Bryce. Are they party to this conspiracy to interfere with my slumber? I feel I have no choice now but to report the matter to Elder Delberic. I can also return the chapter house key to his office while I am there. How convenient to mention that I have his key. Where does I keep it? I 
guess he returned it to his office, right. Uh, Elder Dalbrick. Terrible choice of reading material too. I had the disturbing dream of the three pillars again last night. The first pillar was shrouded in vines, darkness and chaos, and when it collapsed the structure remained standing. The second pillar was made of metal, and when it rusted and collapsed the structure held strong. But when the third pillar, covered in unrecognisable glyphs, shattered to pieces, the entire structure came down and all was black. I awoke, as always at this point. Well, mate, it seems your dreams might perhaps be slightly prophetic, but uh, you do not have the uh, knowledge. Oh, this 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 that leads to the common areas. All right, we'll keep going to these doors. That's the one with the disturbances, right? Did I look sufficiently on top of the uh, bookcases in the other rooms? I'm not entirely sure that I did, but this guy's got a black chair. Or a keeper-like uh, weapon. One of the sort of things that uh, rogues and jack blades and ne'er-do-wells tend to carry. Taffers. Keep it Leodegar. I implore you to hold whatever activity produces such noise at all hours of the night from your chambers. It is affecting my sleep and my abilities to perform my duties during the day. If this note is not heeded, I will have no other choice but to report the matter to Elder Dalbrick. Keep a nevard. Oh yes, it's a different voice than I used when reading his diary. But... Hello. Oh, I see, I see. Tattering and clinking and uh, drinking. Well, let's just be sure about this. That's okay. All right, that goes to the common area. This door leads to the acolyte dormitory. Alright, I feel like the dormitory first, and then we'll head around here. We'll leave the courtyard and stuff for later, right? Although well, the library tower is a place we need to be. Council tower. Well, let's see. We just wonder, are these holes? Long arm of the law has nothing on the long arms of Garrett. What's this door to the to my right? It's not marked. This must be a closet. Suspicious. Come on out now. Let's get this over with. He's sus suspicious <clears throat> and still following his script. The unfortunate combination for him. Fooling around. Show yourself right now. <clears throat> mm. 
don't know if they're still in search mode or not. <laughs> Yes, he is. Reveal yourself. Where's the snoring even coming from? There must be somebody upstairs asleep. Come on out now. Let's get this over with. Two more chests over there I have not yet. Well, on that one, I suppose. Wow, he, he is he is slightly confused. Correct. Surely an acolyte. Nervous after meeting an elder. Voice lines were in. Uh, I thought I heard something. Was voice lines in the black parade? I think. Where be our fine friend? Not where he can see me. part of the training compound is the lack of dormitory space. I'm still sharing quarters with initiates, despite being made an acolyte some time ago. Normally I would not be too precious about such trifles, but it means I sleep next to Keeper Benegar, the sparring partner. He snores like a burrock and often returns here after sparring, bellowing in pain. The sooner I move to acolyte quarters, the better. Ashwin. Ashwin, I suppose. Jeez. Burrock snore? See if our sparry friend has anything on his belt. This fellow doesn't. on the table. Alright, well I won't take the courtyard just yet, right? Yeah, there's, there's ways into the courtyard from the south which seem like... Hmm. Or I could go into the latrine's kitchen dining hall now. Things from keepers. Don't know. <coughs> what a I'll have to try, I suppose. No, I feel like... people are here. So that straight across is the dining hall kitchen. Who 
Plus je ne sais ça va. Well, that would be the crypt they mentioned. Shit, there's somebody right there. And footsteps everywhere. Oh, there's another tiara up there, I see. <laughs> no idea whose idea it was. Oh, but I'll tell you what. Seems like a pretty good place to end this episode. Wedged in a corner, hiding from the sky. So thanks for watching. And I'll uh, see you back here soon for the next one.